So today, I'm gonna take that chloroform I made the other day and use it to try and synthesize some dichloromethane. I'm gonna do this by reducing the chloroform with zinc metal in the presence of hydrochloric acid. And to start, I first add all of my liquid products to a 500 milliliter beaker beginning with the chloroform, then ethanol to dissolve the chloroform, and finally my hydrochloric acid, which is added in small amounts. Now before I go any further, I want to make it clear that this is not an efficient process for synthesizing DCM. If you're looking for DCM, you are better off just buying it because no at-home process is going to be both safe and efficient. On that note, I think the two major sources of inefficiency in this process both come from the fact that zinc has to be added last, as seen here. Because zinc has to be added last, some amount of the zinc is invariably going to react with the hydrochloric acid before it can reduce the chloroform. And because most people don't own a powder addition funnel, a lot of the DCM is just going to evaporate away and be lost. The methane bubbles you can see on screen right now are the product of chloroform reduction without hydrochloric acid, and this is all you'd get if you added the hydrochloric acid last. Anyway, once I've added the last of the zinc metal, I construct this basic distillation apparatus and slowly add all of my extremely crude DCM to the three-neck boiling flask. Just as a side note, you typically never want to distill from a boiling flask that's this full, but I don't really have a choice here, so I'm gonna try to make it work. After the addition, I add some sand to act as a nucleation site for the boiling. I turn on my water circulation and I begin to heat. My target temperature here is 55 degrees Celsius, and that's because DCM boils at 40 degrees Celsius, while chloroform boils at 61.2 degrees Celsius. That said, boiling at 55C should distill over just my DCM while leaving my chloroform and ethanol in the boiling flask. Eventually it'll come to a rolling boil and I just hold the heat below 58C until the boiling stops. At that point I'll replace my collection flask and boil at 68 degrees C which should distill over all the chloroform while leaving the ethanol behind. You can see here my distillate that came over below 58C is kind of cloudy and I believe that's due to some sort of mixture or emulsion between the DCM and the chloroform. Uh, this isn't a problem though and I'll be removing it in the next step. Here you can see both of my collection flasks and the one on the right is everything that came over below 68C. That one is definitely mostly chloroform but it more than likely has a little bit of DCM in it so I'm keeping it around. Anyway, once my boiling flask has cooled down some, I empty the waste, discard it, and add my crude DCM back to the boiling flask for a second distillation. For the second distillation, I'm not going to allow my boiling flask to exceed 50 degrees C, and that'll guarantee that only DCM and no chloroform is distilled over. I repeated this process with my distillate that came over below 68 C, but that one obviously didn't yield nearly as much. And that's pretty much it. Um, as I said earlier in the video, this is not an efficient process. Um, I only got about a 52% yield and considering how long this took and the cost of the reagents I used, uh, this is pretty miserable. That said, I had a lot of fun with it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you liked this and want to see more like it, give me a follow.